Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So, what's up, everyone? All to everyone watching this video. So, here's in this time. I just want to say something. Something really deep, to be honest. Actually, it's about someone. Someone who always motivates me to do something good. Someone who always be on my side when I was in this boarding school. In this school, where I have so many experiences, bad experiences, and good experiences, everything, I've experienced it all. From being bullied, being a bully, or even getting mad at someone or being happy at someone. Being a leader or being a member, I thought it all, but not all of it in life, that's what it does. So, when I was in seventh grade, I was a natural lonely person. I cannot socialize that. I can't. I can't. Every day, I always be staring at myself, being alone in the soul life. Not even brave enough to go to the sun, to go to my dormitory. Not even that brave. And that's why like, I was depressed. I was bullied. I was sad every day. Uh, to, to be honest, when I was thinking about that moment. But then, someone came in. Someone came in and said, Hey, do you remember what was me? And I said like, oh yeah, I do play Roblox. Do you play it too? And yeah, I do play it too. Do you know how much I see the book called CB? Oh yeah, I know that. He's a child, right? He's a child who always plays games and games. And child at people. <clears throat> at that moment, it was my first time. Getting my first close friend. And then, we become close together. We become close together. Every time. And every day, he always be on my side. He always be on my side wherever I go, especially in Musala. At that moment, I don't feel that lonely anymore. But then, Corona came in. Corona came in to this school, to this area, and separated us. At the first glance, it was all fine because we still have many social social medias that can still connect us both. And then, yeah, we do in fact still become close together until suddenly, out of nowhere, he becomes so far. He acts so off. He barely contact me anymore. He barely say, or you must say, ask to play with me anymore. You know, we used to like, call every day. And get on a call when we when was in Ramadan, it's a moment where we are being actually close to each other. But then the thing came in that day where you ignore me is just so painful. And in fact, that day it was the worst moment in my life. I became depressed. I was staying at home, crying every night, because I don't know what to do. I lost my favorite best friend. I can't barely do my assignments on my school correctly. I always absent in every Holocaust. I was so depressed. And at that moment, I just want to know what makes he become so far to me. At that moment also, it's my first time, my first step to learn about hacking. Because I know we are in the cyber world, there must be a way on how to find out what causes you to change, to ignore me. And then just turns out, uh, you just found someone else that is more closer, more has connection to you than me. It's always painful like this. I become depressed for months. 
But then, something came in. The school of Idea Morning School announces the change, a change for me to be offline. At first glance, I thought it wasn't a big deal. At first, I don't feel like I don't want to offline. I just want to keep online. But then, I just tried. I tried my best. Because at that offline, it's where I become, the first time I become a brother. There's a juniors that just came in, seven graders. So you know that feeling where you need to, you know, act like very nice to them. Well, at first one, because I was, I felt like I was a senior, I was actually kind of wanna, you know, enslave them and bully them all. You understand, right? That's a better call time, by the way. And then, at that moment, I was still, I still have those past memories. Those past memories of where I was my best friend. But then, in this of mine, something caused me different. I was suddenly easy to be close to someone. I don't know why. I just don't understand. Why do I be easy? Why do I feel like it's so easy to be close to someone, you know? And because I was feeling that easy to be close to someone, I become a bully. And that's my first time being a bully. And fun fact, the first time I bullied a junior was actually someone. A new student, basically, you know we have something like speech every day, every hour about the Zuhur, where someone came to the front and then uh, do a short speech for all of us. And the first once, the first time I bullied someone was that someone was taken to the front and gave a speech. Surely, he was absolutely false in his speech. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. I cannot be able to understand what he was saying. It was like, hello, something, blah, 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 and my name is, my name is, blah, 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 and I'm going to show you what the other thing was. So the other thing was, it's like, I just can't understand, man. And I keep, and I say like this, Ni orang is speech at all right? Is this person speaking or rapping? And the first time is when I'm bullied at guy. That my first time to be a bully, actually, to be honest. And then after that tense, I still be a bully. Just because I have the feeling I already can socialize people. I become a bully. That's why I'd be wrong, but hear me out first. And yes, I bully that guy. I bully it a lot, to be honest. I can understand, I can understand about his mental or his feelings back then, in the A I keep bullying him, something like, Chinese, Mkoh China, Sipit, you know, those boys, those racisms. And then, you came to me. At that Roman day, you came to me and said this, Hey, I'm not a Chinese person, you know? I'm a former Chinese person. And I was shocked, right? So then I was like, Oh, really? Is it? Are you sure? And then at that moment, it's kind of shocking actually to be contacting with someone who I bully to become a friend. We don't know. I'm just bullying. I don't do. I don't appreciate what he did. I don't even be close to him. All I was to bully him in the back. But then he came up to me and the unethical to come to me and then we speak to each other. We speak to each other until every day, literally. At first time, I was bullying him, right? But then, somehow we become close you know? And finally, at that moment, I realized that bullying, a bully, is that actually, there's no bully in this world, actually, to be honest. What it has was actually a friend. So what you call a bully, is basically a close friend that is not showing its own true self. You get what I mean? So here's the, so here's the context. If you think about the word close friend, it was a friend that is close to you and always encourage you to do something, you have to do something in school, right? But boy, if you think about it, 
Just think about it. What you call a bully is actually a person that is also close with you. And, but, yeah, I know, it's, I understand, I completely understand that he sometimes breaks your heart or even, you know, kind of painful to him about what her, what's his role for. But if you think about it, the bully is actually your close friend too. Kind of shocking, actually. I'm excited to talk shocking when I get that. Because a close friend, what you call a close friend, encourages you to do something good. But this bully guy that you call a bully is actually correcting you to not do something bad. It's just their way to remind you to not do this. Look, people are unique. People are different. It's just how you act to people. But look, what if he didn't say to me, he didn't contact me, and just immediately to report it to his dad? Of course, we won't be close to each other. Of course, definitely. But if he had the lesson to tell me that I got insulted, I got insulted by your action, I'm actually a Chinese person. And that moment, we become both each other. So basically, the thing that I just want to say is that don't call everyone a bully because actually, bullying or a bully, an actual bully, rarely exists in the boarding school. Actually, to be honest, it's just a friend. We are all a friend, and this bully guy is actually just trying to remind you to not do something bad. That's it. A close friend encourages you to do something good. But sadly, this close friend doesn't know. Only sees you in a positive way. But this bully guy definitely knows what's the bad things of you, but less the good things of you. So if you use them both together, you become an extremely great person. Just remember to use your brain and use your enemy as your weapon to become better. Alright, as you guys said, it's kind of awkward really because I haven't prepared so much. Thank you guys for watching. Salam alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.